This is Cytoscape 372, and we're going to look at an RSI3 use case from the F1000 research paper. RSI3 is a bioconductor R package that allows you to connect to a local running instance of Cytoscape from within R. The use case we're going to look at here is calculating shortest path through one of our sample networks, and we're going to use Cytoscape to illustrate and uh, visualize the shortest path results. The shortest path, path calculation is going to be performed by another bioconductor package called RBGL, which is filled with a, a, a number of analytical, graph analytical functions um, from the Boost library. The code in this use case is available as an RMD that I'll link to below. And we're going to open that in our studio and have that next to our running instance of Cytoscape. The first step before walking through this use case code is to make sure we have our Sci3 installed. And then the next step is to install the RBGL package uh, from Bioconductor follow the instructions at Bioconductor for how to do that. Here we'll make sure it's loaded. And we're going to begin by opening the sample session in Cytoscape. It's the yeast perturbation network. Open session with no arguments will by default open that sample session. And next we're going to create, um, create a graph, a graph now object using the graph, the graph package in Bioconductor. Uh, from uh, this network in Cytoscape. We'll do that with create graph from network. So now we have a local object G that we can use in, in the RBGL um, package um, as our network. We're going to define a start and a finish uh, for our shortest path calculation. So we're uh, just picking two of the nodes that are in our Cytoscape network here, picking them by name and we're going to visualize um, the start, put a gray border on it, and um, give that a green border, and we'll uh, define the, the finish uh, with this purple border. So there we go. I've highlighted our start and finish, and now RBGL is going to calculate the shortest path. These visualization steps are, of course, optional, uh, they're just to help uh, see what's going on. Uh, so shortest path is this SP function, and you give it a network, the graph nail object that we pulled in from Cytoscape, and you give it a start and finish. It's done. We can uh, print out the length of that path if we want it. Um, it's now uh, the shortest object. Uh, so there's six steps to get from wrap one to this GLN3. Let's go ahead and select that path in Cytoscape, and we can uh, change the node border width of each of the nodes along the way so that we can see it, and we can even pull it out as a subnetwork with uh, those three lines we just ran. So here's our shortest path between RAP1 and GNL3.